So, um, a JavaScript slider with controls. I said I would do it. Um, so this is it. Right. This quick template I put together. Um, this will be available on my website, um, which is w3hut.com. Um, this is just on a local server at the moment. Simple layout and design. At the moment, nothing happens. There's just an image. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. All right. Now, I really didn't want to open that. Um, what I'm going to do is explain to you what I've got at the moment. Um, inside my banner wrapper, I've got a left arrow, a right ammo arrow, and I've got a slide container. Okay. Um, <coughs> it's a bit of um, simple, simple CSS. Probably a bit more complicated than what most are used to, but a bit simple CSS and um, it's all hunky dory. Right now, I'm going to go through with this because I've already created my images. Because last time I got quite a few complaints because people didn't want to watch me do all the images. Um, if you're having troubles, go back to the original JavaScript slider tutorial um, and have a look at how the images are done. Um, but yeah. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do div class. Uh, let me take caps lock off. We don't want that. Div class is slide. Um, ID is equal to slide one. And then that should do. In here we want our image. So image source is equal to my folder is images forward slash slides forward slash slide one dot jpg oh is equal to slide one um there all right now i've got five of these so i'm just gonna uh one two three four five um i'm gonna try and quickly do this uh replace one for two replace for Place um, this two for three. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> that's it's not it's not working. Um, So if I save that, we are going to have some issues, as you can see. Um, obviously, we don't want this happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some CSS to kind of neaten this up a bit. After slide container, we're going to do dot slides. Remember, that's the classes we put on every single one that's the same on every single one. Um, and we're going to do position. We're going to use absolute. This is going to make sure they all sit on top of each other. Or at least it should do. Um, uh, that's because I've put slides and I should have put slide. Um, there we go. And now they're all sitting on top of each other. Now you notice whichever one was last outputted will sit on top. This doesn't really matter because we're only going to be displaying one at a time anyway. Right. Now, for now, that's all we need. We're going to head over to our banner.slide.js. And we're going to use jQuery's document dot ready um, function. Now what this is going to do is it's good when the document's ready and finished, we're going to get the dot slide. So this is going to do all of the slides that we've got. And we're going to oh actually before we do that, let's head back to the CSS. We're going to select a left equals zero. Now I should that shouldn't affect it at all because it's going to be left of whatever it's, is containing it so that should be fine and then we're going to do <coughs> anime um, we're going to do left um, is minus equals now what this is going to do this minus equals is going to do it relative to its current position 
So if it's take the it will take the position that it's at and it will move it to the left by however many pixels we provide. However, if we if we just put left however many pixels like 50 pixels, what it will do is it will make it 50 pixels from the left hand side of the screen. Now we don't want that. So we're going to do minus equals. Now we need the width of our banner which is 920 pixels. So what this is going to do is animate our times 10 milliseconds. Let's do it linear. Um, that should be fine. Yes, it's going to animate our slides all to move to the left, so they should disappear. So if I save this and head back, they've all disappeared. Now, um, we've come across an issue. If we set this overflow to hidden, they should disappear. They have done, which is brilliant. Right. <clears throat> An important thing I will mention is your container of all your slides must, must, must be positioned relatively. If it's not positioned relatively, then even though you set your overflow to hidden, your elements are still going to poke out the end, and you don't want that. You don't. You want it to be nice and tidy, and you don't want it to be seen. So let's head back to our banner slide JS. Now the problem is we've got rid of all of them, and first of all, we want at least one of them to be showing. So we're going to use the hash slide one, um, which is going to be our first slide, and we're going to use this same code, but we're going to alter it slightly. And instead of doing minus equals, we're going to do plus equals. So what they should do now is move all of them to the left and then move the first one back in. However, it's not done. Uh, let's have a look. Hash slide one. Check the source code. Make sure slide one. I did slide one. Yes. Um, let's go back to our banner slides. <laughs> So what happens if we do that? Nothing. Plus equals. Mm -mm. Let's just use Firebug quickly. Mm, let's slide container. <coughs> Overflow is hidden, which is correct. <coughs> but why? Oh, why? odd. If we take that off, what happens then? So that's worked. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let me just check the sizes. 920 by 350. Um, slow container. <laughs> Let's just quickly do... This will be why. Width has to be the same width as your images and the same height as your images. Um, 3450p x isn't right. Um, overflow is hidden. That's important. We do need that, regardless of what CSS is gonna, your browser is gonna do. That's better, right? So it slid them all out, and now it slid number one in. We can tell this with Firebug. See where slide one is. Now look where slide two is. So it's just off to the left, which is where we want it to be. Right. Now, there's two ways to do this. And this that was just to explain the kind of the theory to it. Apart from what we're going to do is we're going to do this the other way around. Plus equals is to nine twenty, and then minus is equal to nine twenty. So actually, what's going to happen now is exactly the same thing, exactly the same outcome. Apart from slide one is there, slide two, three, four, and five are all sat on top of each other to the right hand side. Which is, this is what we want. So um, Essentially, what we're going to do is 